my name is Sean. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos. I upload all kinds of different content and I'm sure there'll be something in there that you would enjoy. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. I'm here to show you what I read in March and thankfully it's a little more than what I read in February. February was a very disappointing reading month and March has been better. Woohoo! Four books. I shall show you them in the order that I read them and I still haven't finished the other book that I was really struggling with in February. In fact, I haven't gone back to it yet and I'm sure I will because I have heard good things about that book um, but I'm just finding it difficult going and it kind of stopped me reading other stuff. The first book I read is A Swift Pure Cry by Siobhan Dowd. Now I spoke about Siobhan Dowd in my last video because she had started writing A Monster Calls and then sadly she had died from breast cancer so she didn't get a chance to finish it. So Patrick Ness had finished it. So I hadn't read any of her books um, but I wanted to after reading that book. Whew, take a breath. Um, so I read Swift Pure Cry and it is a fantastic book. It's a young adult fiction um, and it's just incredible. The story it tells follows the lives of one young girl whose mother had died when she was young. She has two younger siblings and a father who drinks too much and can see what's going on with his daughter but doesn't quite know how to deal with it. So he deals with it by drinking more alcohol. And it's the story of a girl who is at school, so she is young and she meets a boy and they get together and I don't want to ruin the story, but I'm not gonna tell you anymore in that respect. It's fantastic, it's a really, really good read. I think I read it in about two days, possibly three. It was just a really nice, easy read, but a really, really enjoyable read. Definitely recommend it. The second book I've read is Autumn by Ali Smith. And this book, I don't know if it specifically came from the votes that happened last year with Brexit and all of that, but it's definitely kind of has that element of it. It follows the life of an older man and a young girl who was born in the 80s and how she's seeing life right now, how she spent a lot of her childhood with an old man who lived next door who taught her about art and taught her how to appreciate things, teaches her what richness is worth and what worth is worth and kind of core values and things like that and he really sort of taught her as she grew up, not in a teacher way, as in a friendly way of a person who lived next door. And the girl's mother wasn't particularly keen on the relationship that this older man and the daughter had, and there wasn't anything <clears throat> um, sexual at all, it was just a relationship that they had. Anyway, this was a really good read. It was quite kind of, it changed eras and things quite often. Um, it looked at art, it looked at women in art, it looked at things like if someone had been a man in the art industry instead of a woman, would they have done better? So it looked at kind of gender and gender inequalities and all that kind of stuff and it looked at Brexit, it looked at how much has changed in Britain since that and the potential future changes as well. It was definitely a really interesting read, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, and it was just one that really made me think about things, about politics, about life, about feminism, all kinds of content that I hadn't really, you know, it just made me think and that was really good. The third book I read was one that was recommended to me in my January video, I think, and it is Between Shades of Grey by Rutus Pettis. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. I had it recommended to me, they said it was about the Holocaust, which it absolutely wasn't, uh, maybe I just got that wrong. So what it's basically about is about um, Russia and the Stalinist era and a family who were taken from their home in Lithuania to a training camp in Siberia. And this book is very, very emotive. This story is based on first-hand family accounts and memories from survivors. So this family, it follows the story of one family in particular a mother with a son and daughter and a husband. The husband is a university professor who's been trying to help people escape from Lithuania. So he is 
obviously seen as a traitor and he is sent to a camp and the other family is sent to a different camp. The rest of the family is sent to a different camp in Siberia. They end up being taken out of Siberia and taken up to, I think, practically the North Pole. And it's about their living conditions, the fact that people were dying around them. It is an incredibly harrowing story and it's really, really worth reading. This is something I didn't even know happened and like, you know, I did study history at school but clearly I didn't study very well. But um, I had no idea that these hundreds of thousands, millions of people were taken from their homes and it wasn't to do with the war that was going on in Germany, this was to do with Stalin and Russia and all of that as opposed to Germans and Nazis and all of that. So it was a really, really emotive read, quite a harrowing read. I would definitely, definitely recommend reading it because you will learn something about history that you didn't know. The final book I read this month is called Seven Days of You by Cecilia Vines and it's a really, it's a decent read. It follows the story of a girl who has been living in Tokyo and she is about to be, she's about to move house out of Tokyo with her mum and her sister. Her dad had left when she was younger. It's about friendships, it's about um, who her friends are, who she thinks her friends are, um, about boyfriends, about emotions, about love, about different continents, about all kinds of different stuff. I enjoyed it, but I did find it a bit predictable. Um, I don't know if that's just, I don't know. I found it a little bit predictable, but I really did enjoy reading it. Um, but I think when you'd kind of guessed what was gonna happen after like the second chapter, it was a little bit disappointing. Please let me know what you have read in March. I would love to hear about it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. If you would like to, please subscribe and I will see you again soon. All right, bye.